The new statute will soon go into effect addressing what police have referred to as a loophole in state law. The new law will allow Oklahoma officers with probable cause to get search warrants to search for wanted felons who hide in other people's homes. News Channel 8's Ryan Stocka joins us now live to explain why exactly this law is needed. Ryan. Brennan, I spoke with Representative Colin Duell, who says that the reason why this law is needed is so that they could list people in search warrants and not just property and locations. This new Oklahoma law that goes into effect in November clarifies that search warrants do not have to be issued for property, but can also be issued to search for wanted felons. Currently, you list property on your search warrant and the, the location that you're going to go search for. So now we've codified that holding in that Supreme Court case saying that you can also list individuals. A search warrant is different from an arrest warrant, which authorizes law enforcement to arrest and detain a person accused of a crime. Representative Duell, the House author of this law, says that in 1981, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that if there is a person with an outstanding arrest warrant who is not in custody and that person is hiding in a house that doesn't belong to them, law enforcement is required to get a search warrant for whoever owns the house so they can go in and arrest the wanted person. But he says that prior to the statute being changed here in Oklahoma, Oklahoma, local police didn't have that option. Some magistrate courts were saying, hey, there's no mechanism for us to issue these search warrants for property, searching for people with arrest warrants. Duell says these search warrants for wanted felons weren't being issued and law enforcement had to go undercover and stake out the property until the suspect came out. Whenever we have a felony arrest warrant out for somebody and this pertains to violent felonies, um, domestic violence charges and some bench warrants. We had kind of a loophole where if the address of the person that had the felony warrant was not listed on the warrant, then it's not considered first party, it's considered third party. So we had no recourse to detain that su suspect in that residence, make efforts to get them out of the residence um, because there was no law allowing us to do that. Ritter says after one of their guys identified this loophole in the law, they got with their legal advisor, typed up the bill, which is what they presented to Senator Weaver, who was the principal author of this law. Live on Lookout Mountain, Ryan Stockett, News Channel 8.